A Henderson County teenager took her own life over the weekend. Now her grieving parents are speaking out about bullying. Amber Cornwell was just 16 years old. She was an athlete, a musician, and so much more to her family. News 13's John Lee is live at East Henderson High School this evening where Amber went to school. John, her mom and dad are hoping this tragedy can now be a wake-up call for everyone on campus. Amber's parents say they uh, discovered her dead on Saturday morning after hanging herself in the closet. But they're trying not to focus so much on how she died. They hope her life story is a lesson about bullying. This feels like a horrible nightmare that I won't wake up from. The Cornwells gather around the Christmas tree, missing one of their greatest gifts. She was a wonderful kid. Presents wrapped for Amber Cornwell are painful to look at. All she wanted for Christmas was a piano. $100. And $100 to go shopping on. Amber was 16, going on 17. Kim and Alan Cornwell say she came home from a date Friday night and seemed perfectly happy. We thought this was a great year. She was 11th grade this year. She played tennis. Um, she, she was in dance. She was in chorus. But despite all the reasons to live, on Saturday morning... And we found our daughter had committed suicide. In her room? In her bedroom. Friends set up an R.I.P. Amber Cornwell page on Facebook. On that page, some say bullying at East Henderson is responsible for her death. And she didn't think anybody loved her at school. But if you look on that computer, she's loved by so many. Kim says Amber has been targeted since the sixth grade. And the boys like her and the girls hate her. And that's not fair. And I don't want another child to die because of name calling. Well, they call her. A horrible names, you know, whore, slut. Those words hurt. All the time, it was always something that they were calling her. We thought it had calmed down. Allen says Amber's peers can end bullying. Young Americans, y'all gotta step up. Put a stop to it. But this bullying's gotta stop. Look what it's doing to families. Look at my face. Look what it's doing to me. At what's supposed to be a time of joy, the Cornwells are left with memories and an ornament Amber made as a child. Amber's last post on the night before she died leaves them in tears. She put something on Facebook that said, if I die tonight, will anyone cry? And I want her to know, yeah, I'm crying. My heart is broken. Some heart-wrenching emotions uh, indeed. And now that family is uh, struggling to come up with funeral expenses. They say in lieu of flowers, they ask for monetary donations at Jackson Funeral Services in Hendersonville. Here at East Henderson High, I'm John Lee, News 13.